Shut up and sit down. Oh, hello and welcome to a Northwell Side by Side video. What I'm going to attempt to show you in this video is the drain on a battery in a Yaris hybrid at a continual quarter of an amp to half an amp. Um, I'm trying to sort of replicate when the car is sat idle doing nothing been turned off you've walked away and you've left it for a couple of days I'm just trying to show you that even in that state there's still a draw on the battery and the battery is still depleting so you're gonna watch a video in the, in the next couple of minutes where I have an amp clamp a battery and the multimeter all set up to show you what's going on let me just flip the camera so there we got the multimeter that I'm going to use here I've got the amp clamp which has got 0.6 of an amp drain on it at the moment with this setup this is a fresh battery that's been charged today and then left for about an hour before I set this little experiment up to show you how these batteries drain with a small discharge on them. I'm trying to replicate your car parked on your drive as if you've turned it off and left it for a few days. I'm just trying to show you how these batteries do deplete when um, the car's idle. So watch the video there's a couple of different screens going to show on the multimeter one's going to be a graph and then later in the video I'm going to flick just to a digital readout on the multimeter and you can just watch it drop so enjoy the video and you might glean some information out of it as to why this problem occurs I want to show you what the drain is on a 12 volt battery with quarter of an amp being pulled off the battery which is the drain on a Yaris hybrid battery when the car is asleep I've already proved we can draw 250 milliamps or a quarter of an amp just to keep the car alive when it's powered off and sat on your drive or on the road or you've left it in a, a car park somewhere for a couple of days so what I've got here I've got an Odyssey Extreme battery which is a 48 amp hour battery that's got a cranking power of 925 amps and that's the cranking power to start the car the 48 amps is its rated capacity so this is my little setup I've got positive negative going to a, a multimeter which I've got on I'll show you in a minute then I've got an amp clamp set up running across the positive lead that's going to the um, multimeter and the multimeter is pulling quarter of an amp which you can see on the display there it's, it is varying a little bit but the car will vary a little bit so we're pulling anywhere between 0.2 of an amp or 0.3 of an amp so it's going to average out now if we turn the multimeter on I've got 13.67 volts in that battery and I've been running this battery now for probably 20 minutes before I started making the video just to see what the drop was going to be on the battery 
and it says here 14.14 volts was the start voltage on the battery so we've lost 0 0.07 of a volt to get to where we are now so if I come out of that and restart the test on volts DC let it load it's just measured the start voltage I've got the quarter of an amp drain on the battery and you'll see just with quarter of an amp on the battery that the voltage is going to drop over a period of time this scale at the moment from here to here is five minutes so I'm just going to leave the camera running watching the screen and you'll see that that voltage is going to drop incrementally bit by bit it will just keep dropping and it's doing exactly what your car's going to do when you've got it parked up the voltage is going to drop incrementally bit by bit bit by bit so I'm just going to leave it now walk away from it and I'm going to go and potter, potter around in the garage whilst you stare at the screen and don't worry, you're not going to watch it in real time. I will speed the footage up. And I'm going to let it run across the screen for 10 minutes. And you'll see that voltage go down. I guarantee that voltage will go down. Because I am still drawing a quarter of an amp off this little setup that I've got running. This took a lot of figuring out how to draw a quarter of an amp so let's go back oh just in that little bit of time there we lost another point zero one of a volt just whilst I was uh, confirming the drawer on the battery so you watch that Right, we're at 13.6 volts now and I've increased the amperage draw on the battery. As you can see, I'm drawing 0 0.63, 0 0.64 of an amp. So we're pulling over half an amp now off this battery. And we've come down from 13.69 volts, which was the start of the test, down to 13.6. So we've got 11 minutes left to run at this current rate. And the battery is still dropping. This is exactly what your car will do 
whilst it's sat that voltage is going to steadily keep dropping Well, that's our 15 minutes up and you can see we've dropped from 1365 to 1354 so this will give you some idea of how these batteries with a load on them and I'm pulling over half an amp out of this battery at the moment. How they slowly decay. And this is why you have to use your Yaris. You have to keep these batteries topped up. Because even over this short period of time, we've lost 0 .1, 0 0.1 of a volt. And that's over 20 minutes there or thereabouts since I started the test I'm just trying to give you some idea of what happens to a battery with a continuous load on it and this will only get worse as the voltage in the battery drops because you're losing capacity in the battery all the time and it'll just steadily get worse and worse the drain will get bigger and bigger or the battery won't the amperage won't get bigger and bigger but the voltage drop will get bigger and bigger and that was a fully charged battery that had, a, that, had, that had been off the charger for about an hour before I started the test so all its surface discharge will have dissipated because I did put a, a light across it just to take the surface discharge off. You can see it's still dropping. Not by much, but this is what happens on your Yaris. Because of the continual drain. I hope you can now see why your batteries are going flat when you don't use the cars. Because this is what's happening all the time. Your car is stood idle and not being used over a period of days. This voltage is dropping continuously till it gets to a point where it will not start the car up. Anyhow. I just hope that explains a little bit more as to why this 12 volt battery issue is happening. It's not just hybrids, it is all modern cars. All modern cars do this. The bigger the capacity of battery, the less of a problem it is, which explains why when people are putting new batteries on the Yaris's, they're putting the higher capacity on. They're lasting longer and they're not having the problem. But the original battery is only a 36 amp hour battery. The battery I'm using is about the equivalent to what you would put on your Yaris. If you have the problem and the battery has been drained down a couple of times and it's got to a point where it can't charge again and hold a full charge and it's lost its capacity. And that's on a big battery that I'm using. So you can see what the problem is with the 36 amp hour battery. And this one being a 48 amp hour battery with 12 amp hours more. So this one will last longer on the car. 
So I hope that explains a little bit as to why the problem's occurring. And I hope you've enjoyed watching the voltmeter drop. And please click like, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm going to leave this battery now overnight and I'm going to run the test again tomorrow. And I'll show you tomorrow's results after the battery has been left overnight. So thanks for watching.